Come on, keep flipping. Come oh, do it! Welcome back to the TLS Traveled. Today we're in Leander, Texas. We are at Benbrook Ranch Park Disc Golf Course, and I'm the president of the Hill Country Heisers. We're excited for you to join us out here today. Yeah, thanks for joining me, Zan, showing me around, and this is a great course, so stay tuned. All right, we are on hole one. This is a par four. We will have a triple Mando up just about 30 feet in front of the tee pad. 495 feet, slight dogleg right. So when we have the triple Mando in, it'll be a tight turnover or a flick. Um, right now, definitely a flick for me. Um, pretty soft par four, so you'd like to start off with a three here. All right, good All stuff. Right. Fairway. Got a little lefty highs. All right, now I don't have to go that way, correct? Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Uh, right now you can, can go any way you want. Great. Eventually that will be the way. <sighs> Useful. Get over it. Now sit. Mm, I don't know where that went. All right, we're gonna go Phoenix. Ooh, I'm liking it. Probably should have gone a little flippier with the tailwind. I think I'm actually gonna take this guy. Oh, that's a bit short. I probably should have just like gotten the, the right disc, <laughs> but. A little pizza in the box, yep. it's all good. He's a mature man. Useful. All right, just, you know, ye old edge of circle putt for your first putt of the day. Those are the best. Always fun. Oh, uh, sit. No. The behemoth strikes. So it goes. I'm currently, I've got a plan in the book for how to make a like a study of why do discs do rollaways? Ah, I like it. Like an like an experiment. So I'm I excited like to do that. But great putt. Yeah, I can't ever decide if you want to go into the hill or away from it. I always get confused. Well, three for me. Three yeah. for Cam. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have like a a ramp that will like put them on different angles. And then you like, like, like do different plastic types, different oh, wow. abilities to be like what contributes yep. to rollaways. Cause I, I YouTubed it, right? And all it was was worst rollaways compilation. Right. No explanation of why. Hole two, 296, you have two choices. You can go the left to right around the pecan tree or the right to left. I like the right to left backhand. Um, we do have OB down the right side. Uh, and then there's kind of some sneaky limbs on the right and we have an elevated basket here uh, with a nice wooden feature um, so 296 par 3 you want to birdie this one also I uh, like it come on yeah Oof, sit all right yep. we'll turn over come on oh is it coming back come on all right all right doing work for you that should be safe <laughs> Sit for me, please. Sit down. Sit down. That not ah. sit down. The jungle of Benbrook strikes. Talk so we're actually working on some short tees. Um, our club tries to be kind of a, a club of the people. So we have we started out as a lot of beginners, um, and so we're working on some short tee pads, so that people who are newer to the game don't get as intimidated because this course can be really tough yeah. um, and lose a lot of discs. So we've we've moved the tees up, um, I think about a thousand feet for the short tees, and we're going to get those installed um, pretty quickly, hopefully. Awesome. Yeah. Man, this gets dense. It is thick. Wow. All right, I've got a little bit of a look. Can't even see him. Oh, alas. Run. Got a treacherous uh, six-footer on these elevated baskets. 
I do be treacherous sometimes. Got to mark it with my Hill Country Heisers Mini, of course. Ooh. Same. So we don't do tags, we do minis. Oh, really? Um, and so that 3D printed That seems so minis. much more useful. <laughs> it is useful. It's good marketing. People see it. I put my tag on my bag and nobody would ever see it. So. That's cool. Yeah, so why so many elevated baskets? Um, so this is a Mike Ols design. He is a big fan of the elevated baskets. Um, in the course, uh, it has some teeth to it, but the elevated baskets with the wind, a pretty strong southern wind out here usually. So that provides just another level of difficulty. Um, so yeah, seven elevated baskets, a little, a little tougher. All right, you may have noticed the quality is drastically decreased. That is because Brent Book done broke my camera lens it is bent so back to my camera uh hopefully i can get that fixed soon but 251 feet right over there part three. Oh no that's low skip great skip oh we're gonna have a look that yeah that's we are gonna have a look i'm pretty sure you're like 10 feet that was terrible and bring into that engine oh not a member's bounce I tried to get that more hyzer, but alas. Push. Oh, that, that looks not as, as sticky as I hoped. A little tentative. There you go. That B player. Turn. Uh, but it's out. Hey man, better lucky than good. <laughs> Terrible shot, good bounce. There it is. <laughs> Almost picked up yours accidentally, thing. Save. Not a good shot, good shot. As my friend David would say, my next shot will be my first good shot. Pull four, five sixty-four parkour. This is kind of our signature hole. We call this the Benbrook Behemoth. Um, it is a two-shotter. You want to land it in the little shady spot and then go over the pond. Um, couple, lots of lost discs. Oh, that's a little right. No, take it out. Oh, that's a layup. Oh, dang it. Dead. Please. All right. Take it out. Oh, come on. Come on. How many people are in the club? We have 800 plus on Facebook. Um, I would say we play Mondays and Saturdays. We usually get about 30 to 40 on Mondays and probably 20 on Saturdays. And then we have putting leagues. We usually get around 50 at, at our putting league at Redhorn Brewery. Um, but yeah, I would say a great turnout for us is like 40, 50 people. Oh. Sit a little. Yeah. Yep. Man, the, the trees are loving you. What a man! What a man! Oh, that's great. Long in the basket. Oh. Keep turning left. Ooh, sit. Yep. I did. Oh, right play. in the canopy. Oh, oh great shot. I Hard. saw what yours did. <laughs> Shit. Good fun. No! Sit out. <laughs> Dang, the best of luck to the worst of luck. Man. All right, hole five, 576, par four. We got a little hyzer left and then more of a flick coming in to the right. There is a creek down the right side and OB down the left. Ooh, caught Anti skip. Up. Yeah, good job of getting out of the way of the camera. <laughs> so many people are like, oh. <laughs> Yeah. That's, That's where you told me to land. <laughs> Ooh, it's it's up. Really good. Get up. Great shot. 
Ooh, very li driven. Ooh, ooh. Well, they can't see most of that, but it's pretty decent. Oh, there it is. No! Uh oh. Sit. That's going to be in the water. I knew I needed to throw it out that away, but I didn't do it. That B player. Dang. Great shot. So bad. <laughs> Ooh, good bid. So that one will be. So, here we are. Trying to salvage up a little. On flick roller. And he will be 30 feet. What, maybe? Yeah, circle's edge. Well. Great putt. Good putt. But no, <laughs> two in a row. Dang, man, it's in a row. Hole six, 255 feet. It's short, but it's very technical. We have a pretty unique feature of this fallen tree. You can either hit the field goal right in the middle or do a little turnover around it. No, squared it up perfectly. Oh, yeah, too well. No, it's PA5, but it got rolled back. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's it. Beautiful. Hey, it sticks one. Whenever I play something blind, I'm like, I'm gonna do it. Most of the time, it doesn't necessarily go out fine. <laughs> Hold seven, 325 feet. We have a really tight gap off the tee, and then we have OB all the way around. Um, you wanna play a little right to left hyzer or a lefty flick? Sit down. Sit. I can't see it because I'm out of the camera. Just a little left. All right. Oh, that's getting swept, to swept. That's a little left. All right, other camera and show us how it's done. All right. The lefty line. I'm going big putter. What a man. Does it have enough? I think, it, I think it's where you are. Smart man. Oh, never a doubt. <laughs> Impressive. Nice well, the story can't you don't lay up. <laughs> All right, we got hole eight, 310 feet, pretty treacherous. We have a creek that winds down the left. The basket's kind of a little bit higher, so you want to throw a left to right turn over here. I want to do forehand. This scares me. Doesn't look like it to you, but it really pinches you off. Oh. oh, I'm kicked safe. out. Safe. Oh, okay. All right. That is also a play I didn't think about. Oh. Yeah. Oh, don't cut roll. And she did. But could be safe. Like the PA5, it will float and then sit, and that's great. Come on, baby. Oh, hey, POV, you have a tap in. Well, that was a terrible POV. Uh, hole nine, 257 feet. We do have a Mando here on the right, preventing anyone from going over the top. You gotta hit the gap. Just a little flick for me, or a lefty hyzer, um, and there is a creek OB on the left. Technically though, it says you can't go over this way. You could throw a tomahawk that way. It's, it's, we can't. it's feasible. Not what I'm doing. We might need to triple mando it for you.
Come on, keep flipping. Go in. Oh, do it! Oh, <laughs> man. That would have been sweet. Yeah, I had a chance. Come on, get out of that. Hey! Put my throw in like the first clip of the video, now where it fades to black. You just edit in the chain sound. Yeah, just put it in for me. It'll make it easier. Oh no! That's a first. Alright, a little bit more than we wanted. Dig. A dig. Alright guys, so strength of your game, weakness of your game. Ooh. Um, I would say Heiser. We got the Hill Country Heiser, so I've got the Heiser play, but the Anheuser feels very unnatural to me. Ooh, okay. I don't know why. What about you? Putting, clearly. Is it strength? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron's strength, finding every disc on the course. There you go. That's a good one. He is our utility man. He finds everything. Good putt. I had to put like the circle thing <laughs> over the sun to see it. the basket. I love it. There you go. Full 10, 534, par 4. There is a mando. This tree right here, you got to go right of it. It's a little turn over to the right, and then it keeps going farther right. And there is a creek down the left that's OB. What's the landing zone? You really want to land uh, probably about 300, 350 down the left center so that that right side doesn't block you out. Cool. Just a little off. I was trying to go like three feet off the edge. Ooh. Friendly backhand. Yep. Yeah, it's good. Cool, I did it. Yeah, that was great. We did it. Yeah. Pinched. Ooh, oh, that's a good skip. skip. I'm not going to lie, I thought it was way more sharp, or I probably would have gone with something just a little bit less of the, yeah, yeah of the overstable variety. Sit, sit down. Yeah, that's fine. I threw and then saw water. <laughs> I was like, oh boy. <laughs> nice. I felt that wind in mid stride and I was like, oh no. Great cut. There it is. Cole You got a couple options. You can go straight up the gut with like a little putter, or you can go wide right with a skip. Um, again, it's only 226, but dangerous. There's a creek all down the left. If you go five feet left of the basket, you probably won't ever see your disc again. Lay it out wide and get the skip. Oh, no skip. I'm going to be a madman. Do it. You don't have a great track record of that today, but hopefully it changes now. Yeah, right. Yeah. We'll find it. That was very straight. I was hoping for two feet left. That's where I was aiming. I was just like, it should turn a little bit in this wind. It was very close to perfection. Lefty flick. Oh, that, what the heck did that wind just do to it? So that rat was more viable than I thought. In my, like, not having walked up to it, I was like, yeah, that's hard. This is not that hard. Go in! Oh! oh. Very rude bird in the backswing, but he fought through it. There you go. Bud. All right, hole 12, 551. It is pretty darn straight. You just need to hit the gap with like a mid range or a putter. If you want to get risky, you can go over the top and try to hit the, the tunnel with an air shot. 
Um, but I would go conservative, mid-range, and then go over the top on the second shot. Uh, that's not oh, fun. no. That is not ideal. Mm. We might need a chainsaw. Yikes. That was my first ever disc. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll find it. Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, oh. It's out. She is out. That was crazy. They can't see that whatsoever, but um. Not find that. Well, Cameron will find it though. Oh yeah. So Cameron, his strength is finding this. He found one in here. It is into the thick of it. Thankfully, I've not seen any poison ivy. I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> He's got to fight it out. Oh. Dang it! I knew I should have done this. Attempt to... Oh! Under the camera. I'm going to be mature. Attempt to success. Uh, that was brutal in there, man. Yeah, I was like, there's a gap the size of a male slot. <laughs> and I hit just above it. Yeah, I got out. This is what it looks like, folks. This is how much of a legend Zan is. <laughs> Look at that. I should have done ah. what I was most confident in. Go with what you know, Cameron. God. Darn it. So <laughs> that <goes>. B player. <laughs> So I don't know if you have this problem, man. But it feels like what's dragging me down the most is decision making, like that. Where I'm like, yeah, let me do something that I know I'm not the best at yep. on something that's tricky. And I decide I go with that. Do you ever have those sort of things? I do, or? and it's very self-imposed because I carry about 35 discs. Whereas in golf, you know, you're limited to 14 clubs. So it's hard making a choice when you have 35 different things going yeah. through your head. All right, highlight putt time. Stay up. Got it. Probably should have tried like a throwing kind of deal. What is it? It's a lobster. That is a Keith Russell special. All right. Cameron, let us hear your voice. He's like. All right, I'm coming out. There. He's about 50 feet in there. This is some of our best brush. Not where you want to be, folks. Cool. You got 25 feet? Great putt. Is that a par? That's for boat. So here's where um, turnover went. That would have been nice. Probably would have made that putt for me. Oh, I don't know what that, that is, but it's not good. Uh, that was our toughest hole in the course. Doesn't get much easier here. 273, very tight gap, super hard push to the left. So you want a you know righty backhand big hyzer. But how many feet if you were to go straight to it's about 250 and then 50 feet left. Alright. Oh, that could be useful. They, they definitely can't see it after it's out the gap. <laughs> one, of the, one of the sad faces of you done broke your camera. Oh, very good. Good line there. Maybe a little early. Now we step out. Jumper. <laughs> Maybe I didn't need to jump. Alas. Wow. That was rough. Battle putt. You're too lazy to adjust the camera. 
Nailed it. Full 14, 232. Uh, this one, you can do all sorts of stuff. Hit the gap. There is a creek right behind it, so you don't want to go more than about 15 feet long or you will be wet. And there's a tight gap. There's definitely a flick line. I go flick. Show it to us. All right. Oh, made the gap. Should have nice. 10 or 15 feet. All right, Cam. Oh, right. What is that, a rhino, like Cam? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That'll have 25. All right, I'm not liking this headwind. I'm still going PA5. Straight up the nice. gut. Nice. Oh, yeah. Sit. Yeah. I think it hit the pole. I'm pretty sure you're part. We're going to have Cam make this. I believe. Uh, I You're still a star in my mind. Oh! Oh! Get two or three. I don't think camera's gonna miss that one. Oh! 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 This is another one of our tougher par fours. There's OB all down the right, and there's brush that hugs, hugs the left. So you really want to hit the fairway here, and then you have a big right to left into the, it cuts out into the uh, the brush down the left. So tough hole. Ooh, that could be useful. That's nice, that's nice. Very nice. Ah! Oh! That's no sad. So if you didn't notice, Cam went righty there. He's gone left-handed every other shot. And just safe. pumps one out there safe. Safe. Uh, I thought about using the same look, the same disc. That was yeah, a crash. Not safe. Oh. Uh, Hey, <laughs> baby. There you go. Double safe. All right, we're putting it here. Headwind. What do I have to lose? So why not go for it? Push. Oh, a little early. Mm. Thought it would make it flip. Yeah, did not. Hands there. Going there. What a legend! A legend! Come on, get. Might be going roller here. Ah, uh, it cut the wrong way. Cut the wrong way. Darn, that's. No, he's got, he's got, he, he's a man. Do it, do a cornhole kind of deal. Or that, that also works. Oh! Yeah. oh! oh get me out of here. My thought process was beforehand roller. Get out, get away from the tree. But I've got the, the tree is still firmly in the way. We left a couple guardians here. Kind of a putting loop, but oh. oh, he had the line. A little higher. I had to straddle out more. It's hard to get height for me from there because so much of the power of my putt comes from like the old kettlebell swing. <laughs> when you're like here, there's not a lot of juice it's up and down. 311 feet. Pretty much a straight tunnel shot with a low ceiling. There is a mando on the right side preventing any big crazy hyzers, and there is a creek running down the left that is OB. Oh, it's low. Yep, right. Ooh, that could be moist. Oh, slip. All right, me and Mako 3 are not getting along today. <laughs> I'm going with the Saint. Going Saint. Going soft. Oh, oh, that was a horrible kick. <sighs> In the shore. Ugh, smack.
smart play. Kick right. right. At this point now, it's not turned at all. I, was, I feel like it's going to turn at least a little bit. Dead straight. Great play. Car safe? That's both. Okay. Had to be mature. There's no way I'm getting a roller to come out, take a 90 degree turn, and then proceed to go 250 feet down the fairway. Alas. tree on the left side and then there is a pond beyond the basket so it's a little turnover left to right or a uh, righty flip oh. bringing the Mako 3 back out I feel out. like since the camera broke I've just my spirits were done broken oh it is tracking get up Perfect line, just needed a little height. Yep. Fade. Oh, Cam. Oh, that's great. Skip. Oh! Oh, Cam. What a legend. Oh, that was so bad. Sit. That was bad. I was like, give it an Anheuser, but then didn't, ah. didn't hit forward. Cutting from the edge of Benbrook Pond nails it. This, this, you say the last one's eagle ball? Uh, okay, we we'll made that. <laughs> sure. Great spot, man. Hole 18, 545 feet. You have two options: righty hyzer around the right, or righty flick around the left. Cross the creek, and then the basket is kind of tucked back into the right. Oh. Into the tree. <laughs> that's it. All right, that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna try. There we go. Yeah, that's even better. Nice Good shot. Smart play. Oh, he went big. He fully committed. Pretty sure it's All right, I'm gonna just go tunnel out because I don't want to mess it. Oh, oh no. no, come on, come on. It's coming out of it. That might actually be good. That's safe. Yeah, that's safe. Smart man. All right, well, it's basically pitch black, but give us your best. I've got a song on the channel where I redid fishing in the dark to make it discing in the dark. It's, it's pretty funny. Alright, so that's going to wrap up this course. Great job, guys. You've, you've done done excellent job. U.S. Women's is going to be here? That's right. What year? It's going to be March of 2024. Oh, sweet. But, uh, yeah, if you've been watching the channel for most of the Austin videos, uh, you might notice the theme of the ending almost in the dark. Uh, fortunately, my phone doesn't pick it up as well as the camera, RIP. But uh, that's because I'm getting off work and going immediately to this golf course. So, having lunch at 12 and then dinner at 10 is certainly interesting. I'm committed. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I'm committed. But uh, thanks for Zan and for Cameron for uh, letting me come out and play with you guys. Um, yeah, anything you want to add? Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you joining us and just featuring Benbrook. Um, come check us out, Hill Country Heisers. Um, and then, uh, yeah, thanks to Mint Discs for helping to sponsor the course. Awesome. So that's the Keyless Trap. We'll catch you next time.